Hello friends, here in trick number 155, I present before you some more LCM problems which are very important for competitive examinations and these are some of the word problems which most of the students face difficulty in solving. The first problem which I am going to take is there are three persons A, B and C and they are walking around a circular park and the time taken by the persons to complete one round of the circular park is given that is 10 minutes, 24 minutes and 30 minutes respectively. Now if they start together with a common starting point, after how much time will they meet again at the starting point? Now see, first of all we have to identify whether this question is based on the concept of LCM or based on the concept of HCF. Many, pro many students are facing problem in this also. So little bit of understanding of what LCM is and what HCF is will enable you to easily interpret that this question is based on finding LCM. Now see the maximum time taken is 30 minutes to complete one round. So obviously when the three persons meet again the time has to be greater than 30. It cannot be less than 30 because in less than 30 minutes time person C will not complete even one round. So he cannot meet at the starting point again. So the answer will be more than 30 minutes. So whenever the answer is more than the given numbers then the question is belongs to the category of LCM. Similarly when we do the problems based on HCF I'll tell you how we can identify very easily that the statement problem is based on finding HCF. So here we need to find the LCM of 10, 24 and 30. Now that LCM will give us the final answer of our problem. Now here you see for finding LCM just observe these three numbers. 10 is a factor of 30. It divides 30 exactly. So we do not need to consider 10. Whenever there is a number which divides the other number exactly then just strike off that number. We do not want to consider that number for finding the LCM. Now 24 and 30 are left behind. You can very easily interpret that they come in the table of 6. So in the final answer we have 6 as one of the factors and what is left behind? 6 4 are 24 and 6 5 are 30. Now again whatever is left behind has 5. Now this is a prime number. Whenever there is a prime number then our problem is simplified. That prime number comes in the answer automatically and what is left behind? is 4 so we need to write this 4 also so 6 by the 30 and into 420 minutes is our final answer so the three persons will meet again at the starting point after 120 minutes same question when applied to five persons so now i have the times given as 4 minutes 8 minutes 10 12 and 16 minutes so the persons will meet again at the starting point in time equivalent to the LCM of these five numbers. Now but just observe these five numbers. 4 is a factor of 16 or 4 is a factor of 8 also. So 4 gets cancelled. 8 is a factor of 16, 8 to the 16, so 8 gets cancelled. Now we have just three numbers 10, 12 and 16. So our answer will have 2 as one of the factors. Why? Because these three numbers are divisible by 2. So what is left behind? 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12 and 2 8s are 16. Now see we have a prime number. This 5 is a prime number. So 5 comes automatically in the answer. So now what we are left behind is 6 and 8. Now 8 
is not divisible by 6 so just take the multiples of 8 what is the multi next multiple of 8 16 16 is not divisible by 6 go further 24 now you observe 6 divides 24 exactly so the LCM of these two numbers is 24 so just take 24 here so 5 to the 10 and 24 240 minutes is your required answer so just by inspection and little understanding of what LCM is you can exactly find the correct answer without use of traditional method of finding LCM. Likewise, suppose we have another question in which there are files containing sheets of papers. File A contains 32 sheets, file B contains 40 sheets and file C contains 48 sheets. Now we need to find the least number of sheets required to make files without any sheet left over. Now again, least number of sheets required to find make files. We have to make a number of files, file A's, file B's and file C's from the given number of sheets. So that given number of sheets has to be larger than 32, 40 and 48. So again we need to find the LCM of these three numbers. So the solution for finding the LCM of 32, 40 and 48. Now again, see these three numbers 32, 40 and 48 what is the highest number by which all three numbers are divisible if you observe closely 8 for the 32 8 5 the 40 8 6 the 48 so 8 is one of the factors so in the answer i will have 8 as one of the factors and what is left behind is 8 4 the 32 8 5 the 40 and 8 6 the 48 now this is prime number so prime number will come in the answer and 4 and 6, 4 does not divide 6, so count the multiples of 6, 12, now 4 divides 12, so 12 will come in the answer. So 8 times 40 into 12 is 480 sheets is your required answer of this question. Yeah. So observe that little bit of you know understanding of these numbers and the, the divisibility rules and understanding of prime number being a factor of the LCM is required to answer this question orally. Now come to say we have four bells now they are ringing at intervals at a particular intervals so the first bell is ringing at an interval of six seconds second seven seconds third 8 seconds and fourth 12 seconds now if they start ringing together after what time they ring simultaneously again now ring simultaneously again now again the question is of finding the LCM now we need to find the LCM of 6, 7, 8 and 12 now observe here that 6 divides 12 exactly so we need, uh, need not consider this number 6 so we are left behind with 7, 8 and 12. Our answer will have 7 as one of the factors because this is a prime number. So what we are left behind is 8 and 12. 8 does not divide 12. So count the, count the multiples of 12. 12 to the 24. Now 8 divides 24 exactly. So this 24 will come here. So our final answer is 168 seconds or you can write this as 2 minutes 48 seconds so you see LCM of 2 or more numbers can be found out by using this amazing shortcut uh, through which method of observation or inspection is utilized for finding the LCM so Use these methods in competitive exams and save your precious time. So keep loving mathematics and share and subscribe the channel if you like it.